everyone. I wanted to give you guys an update on where we are right now. I apologize that this is probably going to be really bumpy. We're in the car again. Um, and I had my first scan after starting the STEM meds. And they, I don't know, uh, they didn't really say anything if it was good or bad, but I know that they told me there was only five follicles that were maturing like they should, and that my right ovary was basically, I think he said it, something like it's just not playing ball, so it's just not really doing much, and so that was pretty discouraging for me. I definitely, after that appointment, I just started crying because I, um, I don't know, I just didn't know what that meant really and I didn't really ask you know exactly is that a bad prognosis but it just I guess in my head you know only having five doesn't seem that great so and I know that it's still possible and we could still have you know good healthy eggs in those five follicles but I also know that you know the less you have the less options, the less, the less amount of eggs they can, you know, work with to fertilize and hopefully get good embryos. So, so yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know, yeah, what that was like and what that first scan was the results of that. So, yeah, it's hard and I don't know really what this process is like, though, because I, I don't even know. Like, could, you know, those ones on the right ovary start to get bigger and catch up to the ones on the left that are at a good size? I, I really don't know. So, and they said that the ones on the left were, I think they were ranging from, like, 13 centimeters to, or millimeters um, <laughs> to 16. So they were all, you know, he did say that looked good. They were all, you know, maturing together at the same rate, at least right now. So, and anyway, so just to give that quick update. And also, I actually had blood work done before this first scan. And that showed that they said my estrogen wasn't at the level that they want it to be. They said it was just a little too low. And so he had me up my Gonal F injection medication from 325 to 350. And then he had me, instead of coming back in two days, like every other day, he said, come back in three days. And that's kind of why we're in the car, actually, because we had to go to the Mount Pleasant or Charleston office because my office is not open on Sunday, and today's Sunday, so... That was not great, but we, yeah, had another weekend in Charleston, <laughs> and unfortunately, we had to wait about two and a half hours, which was definitely not fun. They were just super busy, and a whole bunch of people were in there when we went in there this morning, and they said they only had one person doing ultrasounds, so, and it seemed like most people were in there for the same thing, blood work and ultrasound, so it just took a really, really long time. But, but yeah, that's where we're at right now. I am trying to still, like, remain positive as well, but also realistic. I don't know. I just told my husband, I was like, I don't even know how to think about it and even how to feel about it. I know it's, um, I guess it doesn't give me a lot of assurance, but I know that ultimately my assurance is not in, how many follicles are have or you know exactly how I'm responding to the medicine and even the result of this and I just just remembering that and also grieving like crying and it's totally fine to just cry and I'm thankful that I could do that earlier um, and yeah it's just so many unknowns Everyone responds differently to these meds. Everyone 
has a different count um, and even a different result. You know, I know I've seen some people who have a ton of follicles and then they have very few, you know, embryos in the end and, and some that have a lot and and some that don't have many follicles and then end up with more embryos than they thought they would have. But anyway, so, but I do, I guess I'm not too excited about that just five number and just continually surrendering this to God and hoping and praying that, you know, those, there would be good, healthy, mature eggs in there. So thank you guys for watching again, as always. And yeah, just, uh, I would love to hear stories of you, from you as well. Like what, you know, your experience was like, I know that we, we really can't compare our experiences to each other because everyone's different. And I know that's my tendency and to kind of look up things like, oh, what were other people's results when they only had five, you know, mature follicles or, or whatever, and then think that that will be my result or, you know, something like that. And that's not the case a lot of the time since everyone's different, but it is always cool to hear, you know, just how other people experienced this journey and but it definitely isn't a, I guess, an answer to your, to yours or my um, specific issue that we're struggling with. So, yeah, thank you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Hey, everyone. I wanted to add this in quickly because about five minutes after I finished that video, the doctor's office called me to let me know the results of my blood work that they took today. And that was normal, they said. It was good. My estrogen is right where they want it to be. So, and so that was encouraging to hear. And also, so basically I just keep sticking with the same amount of meds that I've been taking. So stick with that 350 of the Gonal F. Um, and then she did say, I kind of asked her... A little bit more detail about the follicles on the right side that seem to be really slow and not responding much and she said that sometimes you know they will um, you know get kick-started or something and get going and actually be follicles that they can um, you know extract eggs from so you know who knows it could happen and she said it's pretty early you know in the process so I'm going in for another scan and blood work on Tuesday and then you know every other day after that just for them to keep monitoring things so she did say it is a potential that those could come into play later on and just haven't I guess woken up yet um, so that was encouraging to hear and and it's great to hear that I don't have to up my meds anymore as well so I'm, I'm really thankful for that but yeah just wanted to give you guys that quick update um, at the end of this video that I just updated you guys earlier about so again thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next